In light of that news, Sanford's current CEO and President Bill Gasson sent out a letter to all employees today letting them know about the settlement information and was becoming made public. In his letter, Gasson wrote each year Sanford Health is required to file an IRS Form 990 that provides an overview of the organization's activities, governance, and detailed financial information. Gasson says, while employee separations are confidential, I would like to honor my commitment to transparency to the greatest extent possible and provide some context to the news that will become public later today. Gasson says the information regarding Crabbit House compensation released in today's filing will raise questions. He says the majority of compensation paid to Krabenhoff was contractually obligated as part of retirement plans over his 24-year tenure. The remainder was Krabenhoff's annual compensation and a severance agreement. Gasson told employees Krabenhoff's compensation was reviewed annually by a nationally recognized independent firm and outside legal counsel to ensure it was reasonable and competitive. The letter closes out by saying that these payments conclude Sanford Health's financial obligations to Krabenhoff. You can read the entire letter for yourself on kettleland.com.